Hello, Hirsch here and today I want to show you some unusual build for solo dungeons, which is very useful in my opinion. Enigmatic staffs are quite strong lately and are used in many contents. I was never an enigmatic staff player, but now I enjoy them a lot. That's why I tried some build in solo dungeons and results will shock you. Let's get to the point. The weapon which we will be using today is Witchwork Stuff. Build you can see on the screen, but I will talk about more it lately. As you can see, I'm doing tier 8 solo dungeons popped from the map, so mobs are even 16% stronger than in the usual tier 8 dungeon that you can find on the map. On the weapon, I got something like 1100 IP and the average IP on this build is 1300. When I was starting using this weapon I got zero specs on it and it was very easy for me to kill the mobs in the dungeon. The damage on this weapon is surprising. Let's talk more about the build. As you can see which work stuff, the first Q, the first W and the first passive and this combination will give you the most possible damage output so the mobs will be like melting. For the helmet I have chosen Kalti Skull uh, and it's tier 5.2 because it's the most, uh, I think it's like the best uh, tier for clear clearing solid dungeons because it's not too expensive and the IP on it is pretty good. Uh, and I'm using of course the third skill and the first passive and I think Kalti Skull here is pretty good because when you are struggling with some bosses here in, in solo dungeons, you can always use your Kalti Skull and the, the bosses or some stronger mobs will just melt way faster. For the armor, mercenary jacket, uh, because as you can see, you don't have any sustain on the weapon and sometimes you can get low, so, f so if you will get low, just use your mercenary jacket use as many skills as you can and you will go from zero to max health in the seconds so i think that's quite good armor for this combination for the boots 6.1 guardian boots with the second skill and the second passive uh, i like to use guardian boots or any plate shoes with the second skill in it because it of course gives you mobility and a little bit of sustain so i think that's Pretty nice. For the cape, of course, that's for the cape because it will give you additional damage. As you can see here, I'm using 4.3 in excellent quality, but you can even use 4.1 and it will be uh, enough for this content. Uh, if you don't have that much money to afford even 4.1 Tedford Cape, you can easily use usual cape uh, if you want. You can even go without any cape. And it will work too. For the offhand Crypt Candle. Why Crypt Candle? Because I think it's kind of cheap. In 4.3 excellent quality it's like only 90k. So that's not much. It's like for the cape. Uh, and it gives you plus 22% physical ability bonus and magical ability bonus. So that's a lot of damage I would say. Uh, but if you can't afford Crypt Candle, you can choose Moosak, which is cheaper and also it will give you additional damage, uh, so that's for the offhand. Now food. I think the tier 7 jungle mouth catfish is the best food for clearing solid dungeons, because one fish like this costs 2k and the health regeneration, which you will get from this item, it's just, for 2k, it's just perfect. And for the potions, of course, poison potions, uh, I think you should get something like 10 or 12 to one solid dungeon. Uh, I will not recommend you using poison potions on regular mobs, more like on bosses. So just if you will get some poison potions, the bosses will melt way faster, it's like the same thing with Kalti Skull. If you will start doing some boss, you will use Poison Potion, Kalti Skull uh, at the same time and you will just deal some damage with your skills. The boss will just die very fast. And another important thing, swaps. 
As I said earlier, if you can't afford Tetford cape, you can use usual cape or you can go even without cape and it will be okay. For the boots, you can switch uh, Guardian boots for Royal sandals uh, because Royal sandals as well will give you mobility and additional damage, so you will clear the mobs faster. Uh, for the offhand, you can use Crypt Candle, you can use Muisak or you can use Mist Color so you will get your cooldowns faster, which is pretty nice. Uh, in solo dungeons as well and for the head you can choose scholar call if you will get any problems with the energy while uh, while clearing but i haven't got any problems with the energy so like i think it's more like a personal thing uh, so that's all thanks for watching hope this video will help you in clearing solo dungeons and making this juicy silver uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, read a comment, uh, whatever. Uh, and thanks for watching, see you in the next one.